Hello friends, welcome to our CodeMap channel. Today we will learn about OpenSSL and how to install the OpenSSL in Windows. So before we go into the part of installation and uh, uh, all the steps, I would like to request you that if you like our video helpful and if you like our content, then please give us a like, it will motivate, motivate to us and also please subscribe us. Okay, let's go to the step by step procedure to install OpenSSL on the Windows platform. So here you can see there it's a link. Uh, I will paste this uh, link in my description. You can go through this. In this link, you will find that how to install the OpenSSL on the Windows. So I will show you how to install in Windows also. Okay, so before that, I would like to say that what is an OpenSSL? So you can say that OpenSSL is a basically a command tool which is used to uh, generate the public key or private key or you can say it's a like um, authorize your certificates also using the command of this OpenSSL. Yeah. So in layman language you can say that uh, in using OpenSSL you can create a pair of keys which will uh, use in encryption and decryption so what is encryption and what is decryption how this works and what are the algorithms are using this encryption and decryption around i will make a separate video on this and will show you in that video that how this open ssl using in encryption and decryption also so let's focus on how to install the open ssl right now okay so for that here is a link it's given you have to like uh, go to that website which is the official open ssl installer so now you can click on this exe so it, this exe uh, basically the windows 64 version open ssl version 3.1 and this is also recommended by the users of the creators you can see here okay now uh, after install this exe we will uh, open this open ssl yeah now it's saying uh, something okay click on that yes license agreement we have to accept the license agreement now next click on next click on next okay uh, copy ssl dlss to yeah that's under system directory now click on install okay so unmark this and click on phoenix so yes now our open ssl installer was installed in our system successfully whatever i did this uh, whatever i did this you can find these things in this doc also please refer this yeah now we will set the environment variable okay so to set the environment variable we have two methods one is we can set this uh, using command line but i think but that that will be a like short term because if, if you see that this environment variables only for a login session so you can assume that after if you terminate if you close the terminal then this session will be closed then you have to again copy these things and you have to do so what we will do we will go for a permanent solution so if we want to add this permanent solution then we have to go to the environment variables and how to go there simply click on windows plus r button and write sys dm dot cpl then click on enter then you can see uh, this system properties will become here and there you have to click on the advanced In this advanced if you go down you can see there is a environment variables so here we find our environment variables now here we will set this open ssl path now for set this we have to click on new and the variable name should be open ssl so 
so you can simply copy this open ssl cmf then you can paste it here as open ssl variable name and what is the variable value the variable value will be this one so you can simply copy this sorry okay now then you can go to there and set the path here now click on press same thing we have to do for the path also So yeah, you can see that OpenSSL uh, underscore conf and path have been set. Now we have to press and click and then click on OK. So yeah, done. Now after that, we will check whether our OpenSSL was installed successfully or not. For that, we have to go to the terminal and we have to write this OpenSSL version. Okay, if you will see the version value, then that means the OpenSSL is installed successfully. If you uh, see some message like that OpenSSL is not recognized, then that means that was not installed successfully. So we will check here. Okay, so I will command that path. Open. I'll write that command open SSL version. And yes, if you see some messages like the open SSL is not recognized, you might be required a reboot of your computer. Uh, once you did that, then you can check the open SSL version. So here you can see that we uh, got the version value 3.1.1 which was we installed so yeah now thus we successfully installed the open ssl thank you for watching this video and please like and subscribe